Gavin yeah, Gu here from UltimateReloader.com. We're here at the 2022 SHOT Show. Can you believe we're actually here? I know, it's kind of crazy, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I'm here with Will Haymeyer from RCBS. Thank you for taking the time Absolutely, to talk to Gavin. Anytime. Yeah. So, how's your year been? I'm busy. Yeah? Been really busy, Trish, trying to keep up with things, so. Yes. About like anybody else. Yep, hard to keep stuff in stock, hard to make stuff in this uh, e this crazy economy we're in right now, but you guys are, wheels are on the bus, huh? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're there, we're shipping more product than we ever have, and just getting yep. it out the door, so. Yeah, I spent quite a while here on the Charge Master lineup. Yeah. You wanna do a quick recap on what you guys did on that this year? Oh, absolutely. So, new for this year, we actually launched in, uh, August and September. In August, we started shipping the new ChargeMaster Link. Yep. Uh, so this is replacing the ChargeMaster Lite product that we had. Mm -hmm. uh, then we also did the ChargeMaster Supreme, which replaced the uh, old tried and true uh, ChargeMaster 1500 combo. Mm -hmm. So on the Link, it looks really similar to the ChargeMaster Lite. Yep. We actually used the same tooling with it, just upgraded the internals, and then did a couple of different changes on it. So mm -hmm. we had some complaints from the ChargeMaster Lite that people didn't like. You couldn't turn the sound off. Yep. So on the new link, you can turn the sound off. Mm -hmm. uh, also where the go and power buttons were, uh, you'd put the pan back on, a lot of people would hit that power button and turn the unit off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we swapped those buttons, but on top of that, we added a three second countdown. Mm -hmm. So you hit the three second, you have to actually hold the power button down for three seconds to turn it off. I like that. Uh, but the biggest thing we added was Bluetooth. Yes, So across the board. Across the board, so yep. all three of our dispensers have Bluetooth. We've got our brand new RCBS app that's on Google Play and the iTunes store. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was completely revamped from the old app that we had some issues with. Mm -hmm. And just completely rewrote the entire thing into new framework and everything else. Yeah. So it would be a lot more reliable for users and they wouldn't have the issues that they had with the old one. Yep. So, I mean, one of the cool things with the app is you don't have to have an RCBS dispenser to use it. There's mm -hmm. a very comprehensive load log inside of it that you can store all of your pertinent mm -hmm. load information. Uh, everything from your firearm type to the different different loads that you've tried with and you can actually yep. put notes and actually take pictures of the groups that you shot. Like so you it. can go back really quickly and easily and say, this one was really awesome. I had a quarter inch group on this one and mm -hmm. I changed a couple things and it opened up to an inch. So obviously and if you've got it wrong. on your phone, you've got it with you, right? Absolutely. That's what I like about that kind of stuff. And then some people don't understand some of the best things about Bluetooth are things like calibration workflow that is so intuitive yes. and it has a graphical user interface that's more rich than right. you get with physical hardware buttons and Absolutely. stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, just that uh, that GUI interface, it's it's clean, it's easy to understand, it's easy to, to run yeah. through that process, and it's really self straightforward yep. and simple. And in terms of accuracy, you've got 10th, 10th, and 400s. Correct. So depending on how much you want to spend and what you're doing, you know, 10th grain accuracy is, is totally adequate for so many different scenarios. Absolutely. Hunting, I mean, you're gonna do really well with PRS if you can hold a 10th, yes. right? The wind is gonna be a lot more of a, right. a, of a big deal, but if you're getting more scientific or if you wanna do bench rest stuff, or you're just, you just have OCD. Right. <laughs> you know? And that, yeah, and that's really where the Matchmaster plays in is it gives you confidence. Right. That, hey, I'm down to four hundredths of a grain. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that's the best that I'm gonna be able to do. So, I mean, a lot of that goes into equipment that people buy is, I mean, yep. they, they buy high-end equipment because it makes them feel confident about their, about their equipment, and confidence does make you a better shooter. Yeah. Another thing I've noticed about the new scales are how the load cell technology and consistency has improved. Two, yes. two examples, one is testing against other more expensive lab scales, like the AND FX120i, which is a really expensive yes. lab scale, and to see the consistency between the two, the accuracy of those charge weights. And then the other is, I've seen a lot less drift. So you turn the machine on, you let it warm yes. up. For me, I let it go overnight before I'm testing sure. on camera with it, you know. and. There it is in the morning, 0, 0.00 right. still, you know? And I'm thinking, this is great because, you know, 10 years ago, it was like, you know, you'd struggle a bit more to, to with drift or, or with accuracy right. issues or whatever. Things are just getting better. Yes, and that's one thing like the, the, the folks that we work with to help design these, I mean, they've mm -hmm. been building our dispensers for 30 years. Mm -hmm. They understand what the, what the users are using them for. Uh, we've got powder actually over to them so they can test with the exact same powders that we're using here. Mm -hmm. Like they're not using just some random random material that they're pushing through to check it. So yeah. I mean we go through that rigorous really the rigorous permit process to actually ship powder out of the country to, to other countries. Yeah. So I mean they've got a really good team that helps us on this and, and they, they understand what, what everybody's using 
the product mm -hmm. for. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, one thing with our dispensers is we use medical grade load cells. Mm -hmm. So we specify that hey, these have to be medical grade load cells. We want the best load cell on the market. Yeah. And you're going to pay a little bit more for an RCBS unit, but you're going to get an awesome load cell. Yeah. The in, load in cell is so critical. It's like the heart of the scale, right. obviously. Yeah. Absolutely. So that's a good summary of the scales. What have you personally been shooting? Yeah, so I mean, I'd shoot a couple PRS matches a year. Nice. We've got a we've got a GT that's built up to shoot okay. uh, shoot those PRS matches. Really fun little cartridge. Yep. Uh, deer hunt a couple times a year, and really just busy with family stuff. So. What What are you deer hunting with? What cartridge? Uh, so I actually shot mine this year with a six XC. Okay. Whoa! So, wow. It was that's a gun I hadn't quite shot. Quite exotic. Right. For hunting. A gun I hadn't <laughs> shot for a while, and yep. I got a new manor stock for it. Very so, nice. For a while there, it was just in a chassis, and I'm fan of it stock over chassis for the most part just mm -hmm. this feels right mm -hmm. where chassis are kind of eh. so I was actually able to get a uh, an EH1 from Manners and nice. it just actually dropped in and I was like oh I can go shoot this gun again this can be fun yeah so <laughs> really the night before I just kind of threw a load together and and went out with uh, some burger ELDs hunting bullets and nice yeah got a doe and a decent buck with it and congrats probably a little underpowered for for <laughs> what I was using it for but good shots and yeah good shots good bullet construction and yeah, I wouldn't hesitate to deer hunt with my six dasher. You know, I haven't yeah. I haven't done a GT yet. I'm building a 22 GT awesome. actually, so that'll be interesting for varminting and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we could talk about hunting and shooting for hours. Absolutely. Why don't you tell me about the new product for 2022? Yeah. So we do have a new brass dryer. So we're working with uh, one of the leaders in this kind of dryer technology. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you can't really go and reinvent a wheel on a dryer. Sure. Uh, but yeah, so we've been working with this guy. It has a huge case capacity. But one of the cool things is actually a prototype unit. Uh, one of the cool things with ours is we're coming with these spacer trays. So, I mean, hmm. you can see they cut those out. Yep. Uh, but on the trays we have. So you'll be able to actually put firearms parts inside of this. Oh, cool. So if you go and ultra, ultrasonically clean uh, your Glock slides mm -hmm. or whatever else, you actually put them in the dryer and dry them so you don't have to wait for them to just dry out. You can know yeah. you got all the moisture out. Very cool. So... Uh, it's really good capacity on these these trays interlock so they don't spin. Mm -hmm. They can adjust the different drying temperatures from 115 to 160 degrees. A uh, really cool unit. We are going to be offering some expandable trays for it so you can put more trays inside the unit versus mm -hmm. just what you have. And, yeah. Uh, it's kind of one of those cool, one of those things that we need. I mean, it's a Me Too product, mm -hmm. but we don't have a brass dryer. We have uh, liquid case cleaners. So. Yeah. It's like one of those natural progressions of products that yeah. that we need. Well, I'm looking forward to trying it out. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, once we get it, so they actually ship, ship that to uh, Orville on Friday. Nice. It's like, oh, we got this for the show. It's like, okay, we got to send it in. Good timing. Absolutely. <laughs> well, that's a good summary for 2022. You're going to be seeing more content on the channel. Thank you, Will, for talking with me. Thank you, Gavin. Have a good rest of the Absolutely. show. Absolutely. You too. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications to make sure you get all of the RCBS updates this year. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, make your voice heard. If you have something to say, please drop a comment. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications because you're not gonna wanna miss the awesome content that is coming up. And finally, flex your reloading pride. You could look great in one of these t-shirts. We've got multiple designs at the Ultimate Reloader store. I'll see you later because I'm off to go shooting.